In this video, I will show you the RC car remote control transmitter and receiver circuit along with connection details. With these circuits, you can easily build a new RC car or repair your existing one. It is very important to know the correct power connection, especially if you are using this module for the first time as it can easily burn out with over voltage. These circuits are available in 27 MHz and 40 MHz version. This one is a 40 MHz module but all connection details are the same for similar modules. You may find modules with different transmitter designs such as 4 switches or various circuit board shapes but don't worry the connection are mostly the same. Here is the transmitter part. Some versions have metal plates instead of switches while others comes with 4 tactile switches. And here is the receiver for the connecting motors. You will also receive two antennas with these circuits which are very important for proper wireless communication. Without the antennas the systems would not work effectively. Make sure your seller includes the antennas when you purchase the red and black wire for power connection there are four additional wires for the two motors rl controls one motor and bf controls the other allowing you to connect two motors in total i am connecting 200 rpm geared motors to demonstrate how it works if you are repairing an rc car with steering control Connect RL wire to front wheel steering motor and BF wire for forward backward movement to the rear wheel motor. Alternatively, you can make a simple RC car with only two wheels and a caster wheel. For powering this receiver, you can use a 4.5 volt to 6 volt supply, meaning three AA batteries or 4 AA batteries. However, this circuit draws a large amount of power which can quickly drain non-rechargeable batteries. You cannot use a single 3.7 volt lithium cell or two 3.7 volt cells in series because this circuit operates at a maximum of 6 volt and it lacks proper voltage protection. To safely power it, I will use two 3.7 volt batteries in series, 7.4 volt total with a 7805 voltage regulator IC to step down the voltage to 5 volt. Connect the battery's negative wire and the receiver's black wire together. Connect both black wires to the middle pin of the 7805 IC. Connect the battery's positive to the first pin of the IC and the receiver circuit's positive to the third pin of the IC. This will regulate the battery voltage to a fixed 5 volt, preventing the circuit from burning out. My receiver connections are now complete. For the transmitter, you can use two AA batteries, 3 volt or a 3.7 volt rechargeable battery which also works. As you can see, this RC car circuit is functioning properly with both motors rotating clockwise and counterclockwise controlled by this transmitter. I am not using an antenna here for short distance, but you must use one for extended range. I have tested a range of 3 to 4 meters with a proper antenna and this power setup. Thank you for watching. See you soon in the next video.